the intrinsic taste of spice obtained from the plants naturally grown in the Sri Lankan soil was introduced to the rest of the world by the Arabic traders in early days. In 1498, the famous Portuguese sailor Vasco da Gama's discovery brought in the maritime silk route that linked Sri Lanka globally in a broader way. Subsequently, the silk route that was used to access Sri Lanka and also Indonesia, the countries that were enriched with spices, was brought to the limelight. And this treasure trove of spice made three powerful nations, namely Portuguese, Dutch and British, to invade Sri Lanka. The Portuguese and Dutch carried out their international commercial activities mainly with the focus on spice led by cinnamon, whereas the British paid more attention to plantation crops namely tea, rubber and coconut. Accordingly, towards the latter part of the British rule, the spice industry collapsed considerably and by the time of getting independence in 1948, Sri Lanka was in a scenario of importing most of its spice requirements. In this background, a special tea commission was established by the Parliamentary Act No. 18, enacted in 1968. One significant recommendation of this commission was to cultivate cocoa, coffee, cinnamon, pepper and nutmeg as an alternative mode of income in tea plantations where the productivity was low. Further, after an in-depth study, the commission revealed that there was a large area of low productivity tea lands in the mid country therefore those lands had to be brought under crop diversification taking this report into consideration the government initiated a crop diversification project in 1970 with the mid country as the focal point and this project was supported by the Food and Agriculture Organization and the United Nations Development Program. In concurrence with this project, the Department of Minor Export Crops was founded under the Plantation Industries Ministry by a special cabinet paper in 1972. The main objective of this department was to establish spice allied intercropping in traditional tea, rubber and coconut lands and the export promotion of these crops, thus reaching a historic juncture in the sphere of export agriculture which ensures the channel of foreign currency towards Sri Lanka, the promotion of export agriculture was reinforced by the Act No. 46 of 1992. Accordingly, the Department of Minor Export Crops was renamed as the Department of Export Agriculture and as a result, the contribution made by the public sector towards the spice cultivation and export of spice products was placed on a firm legal footing. Currently, the Department of Export Agriculture carries out its research and development activities on 16 types of spice crops based on the nature of use of these spice products. They are classified under five major categories, namely flavors such as cinnamon, pepper, nutmeg, cardamom, clove, garcinia and ginger. 
beverages such as coffee, cocoa and vanilla. Stimulants such as beetle, arecanut and ketul. Oil crops such as citronella, lemongrass and colorants like turmeric. The service of the Department of Export Agriculture which had originally been restricted to wet and intermediate regions is currently being delivered as an island-wide agri-entrepreneurial service in 17 districts including the dry zone playing an active role in the development of the country. The local spice economy, which was 60 million rupees in value in the 70th decade, now records an exponential growth of over 100,000 million rupees within the period of 50 years. Similarly, the extension of cultivation of export agricultural crops, which was around 45,000 acres, now encompasses over 250,000 acres. This gives evidence to the victory and success of the Department of Export Agriculture by performing timely and continuous research and development activities. Similarly, 1 million families, directly or indirectly, depend on these historic national enterprise for their livelihood. Agriculture truly is a science and art which is practiced in harmony with the nature. The lush greenery constituting the spice cultivation is a heaven for those seek to spend time leisurely and joyously. Once your heart and mind are healed and revealed in the company of spice industry, you are energized with a new stamina to fulfill your social commitments efficiently. Accordingly, this is a splendid way of passing down the live facts of our true heritage to the future generation. Through the cultivation of golden fruit bearing export agricultural crops such as cinnamon, pepper, clove, nutmeg, cardamom, cocoa, coffee, the Department of Export Agriculture is committed around the clock with the mission of 50 years to endow you a novel investment opportunity for self-employment, industry or business which ensures a sustainable income, a higher value for your land and most importantly an avenue of bringing much needed foreign exchange to your doorstep.